Hey guys, it's Tam's Wicked Witch. Welcome back to the channel. It's bank holiday weekend. It's pissing down. It's raining. The King's Crown's going to get wet. It's really raining heavy. Um, it's just typical, isn't it, for bank holiday? Uh, yeah, I hope you're all well. Welcome to my new subscribers. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining us. Got a little bit of a Dracula situation going on today. So I've acquired... Uh, this video was just going to be about the new... The new Dracula I acquired, um, Gary Oldman. Um, Gary Oldman in the Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's just one of my favourite films. I love all Dracula. I love Bela Lugosi. I, just, I love all of them, okay? I love Dracula. Just Dracula. But I do love that Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I do try and collect any Dracula merch that I can get my hands on, as you know. Now, you have seen a couple of these bits, but I'm going to add them in now, just so you can see what Dracula stuff I've got this year. So the first thing that I got, and you've seen it, is this bust, which I absolutely am over the moon with. I mean, look at this, and I've showed you this, and you know, you're probably bored with seeing the same thing, but I'm just gonna show you, because this was, this was really cool, and I actually got this with Frankenstein and Creature from the Black Lagoon as well. So um, yeah, so that was the first Dracula thing of the year that I got um, of this year. Because at Christmas, my husband bought me this for Christmas. And you would have seen it in my Christmas haul. Um, because my husband bought me this for Christmas. Um, I can't remember if he bought it for me or I got it with money now. But this guy has been made from a, a Mobus model, I believe. And the detail on it's amazing. I've done, a, I've done a video just for this, I think, and showed you it. But obviously, this is from Bram Stoker. Gary Oldman, 1992, when he shapeshifts. Now, this is really big. If you think, this is about 15 inches, I suppose. It's bigger than my head. I mean, it's really big. I mean, look at it. I absolutely adore it. And the paint job is absolutely amazing. That's been professionally painted. So I'm just going to put him there a minute. Um, so, yeah, I'm over the moon with that. But then on eBay, somebody's made the from the same film, when he changes to the... When he changes into the kind of bat, um, oh my God, they've put it on a plinth with rocks. Look at the feet with the spiky bits, like the hoofy type feet. And this is also, oh my God, been professionally painted. Look at the face. Um, I paid 40 odd quid for this and I paid, and the other one was 40 odd quid. So in theory, these and these are now like a set. So I'm so excited about it. Look, how cool. And they're both enormous. So I've kind of got this set. So yeah, I am absolutely smitten with this. I mean, it's, I mean, look at the wings. I mean, this has been obviously professionally painted as well. I don't know who painted it. And I don't know if this is a, a the same model company as the other, but again, it's the same size. So for me, it's another Bram Stoker piece and I'm over the moon. So yeah, I have the double, the double boys I've got. So that's really cool. How good is it? absolutely loving it right so then there's a company or it might just be a single person that makes figures on ebay and they're called freakishly frightening figures or something i'm gonna have to try and look that up and write it on the bottom because i've had um i have had one of their figures i bought um salem's lot mr barlow from salem's lot absolutely amazing the likeness i don't know how he or she gets the likeness very good but look what i got I got 12 inches Gary Oldman. Look at the face. Look at the hair. How, how they make it look like this. This to me and the hands. I won't be able to show you, but they've got little claws. Now, if you know the film, when he holds his hands out, look at the stance. I mean, you can, I put it in this stance, but look at the shape of the head, the hair. Oh my God, my camera's not doing the face. There's much more detail in this face. It's not doing it the best because it's my phone camera. It's a bit shit really for an iPhone, but it's not doing it the greatest justice. But yeah, it came with the stand. It's got the beautiful, this is all handmade. I mean, I'm just like, oh, I've spun it round now. I have him standing like that, which is how he stands when he goes. I can't remember what he says. I won't do an impression because I'm not very good at the Romanian accent, but you know, um, yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon with this. So, yeah, I've got some new Dracula pieces. So this is freakishly, frightening freakishly figures, I think they're called. I mean, she's made all that herself. 
as I say, the um, the other piece that I've got is Mr. Barlow from Salem Zot, which I think I've added in a horror haul. He is amazing. He's not even out of the box yet. He's still back in the box. I've still not attacked this situation behind me and I've still not bought any more display cabinets. So everything's thrown in and I have bought quite a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so this is really over the moon. I'll probably add these into a horror haul though because I have bought quite a lot of things. Um, I've also managed to get, and it's really strange that I've never, ever managed to get my hands on this. Um, I managed to get David from the Lost Boys in mid condition with all of the attachments, the stand, the bottle, everything. He's got all of it. And I managed to get that. I got that last week. And um, I might do a little setup of that in a plastic kind of um, acrylic box. And so I can set it all out and perhaps glue it. Because there's lots of little bits that go with it. So yeah, I finally got David. I don't know why that took me so long to get David from Lost Boys. As I absolutely love Lost Boys. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I had Michael at one point. Um, with the noodles. I'm sure I had that. I don't know if I've even still got it. I haven't finished unpacking the boxes yet. Um, I've still got only one shelf of poor creature. He's still packed. Everybody's packed. Um, I have managed to get my hands on a few more items. So I'll do one big horror haul. Maybe maybe tomorrow um, I'll do one big horror haul and uh, show you all the new stuff. But yeah, have a look on eBay under horror figures. Freakishly frightening figures they're called, I think. Um, you know, for the money that I paid for this. I mean, that is just such an amazing job. Looks just like him. Um, I'm over the moon with it. So, yeah, a little bit of Dracula for Saturday. <laughs> you know I'm Dracula mad. So, yeah, I hope you all have a good bank holiday weekend. I'll be back tomorrow with um, some more horror stuff. I'll see you all soon. Ta-da.